Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing full face of makeup I don't use. So if you guys are interested then keep watching. So I'm currently sitting at home and waiting for my face to melt off. I cannot deal with this. This is too much for me. I know that for some people this is like everyday weather or you know you absolutely love the heat. I am definitely not one of those people. I cannot stay in the heat for longer than 10 minutes. When it's hot, Jay just sits in the garden in the sun like reading a magazine while I'm like hiding in the bathroom pouring cold water on myself. Kitty is really hot, she's like spreading herself on the floor so I've got a fan here. <laughs> boy oh boy, it's hot. So today I thought I will do my makeup with a makeup that I don't really use or I haven't used in a long time because sometimes um, it's nice to do it and kind of like reintroduce yourself to that makeup again. So what I'm hoping will happen today is that I will remember how good the makeup is and I will use it again or it will be a completely different story especially if my face will just melt off with all the makeup and I will think that the makeup is bad when it's not but it's just too hot. I know you're probably like stop being so dramatic but you guys I come from a cold country it gets like minus 30 sometimes well you know on a really bad winter it will get really really cold and for us it's good is a good summer when it's like plus 25 though I know I will complain when it gets really cold and I will be like bring the heat back I'm too cold let's just look into my drawer and pick some products so let's see what we have here I know that we only recently decluttered uh, and it already looks like it needs another declutter but that's what happens so let's just pick a primer that I haven't used uh, what is this? Uh, the SPF fluid. That's not really a primer, is it? I think I have another primer somewhere here. Yeah, that's the primer. Smooth Affair Face Primer and Brighter. I have not used that one in a while. I've not used the BB cream from Dior in a long, long time. Don't even know how long it's been sitting here, but let's use that one. The concealer, that's the one that I normally use. Um, this one I haven't used for a while. And I need powder. Uh, Laura Mercier is the one that I normally use. I have a Jane Idale one here, but it's in warm silk, which I think is a bit dark. This is the Estee Lauder Michael Kors Shimmering Loose Powder. So this is like all over the face. So we can use that one, but I don't know if I have any other powder to set. Um, I have here Sheer Finish Pressed Powder from Bobbi Brown. Mm, that might be a bit warm to set, but I don't think we'll have a choice. Dig a little deeper. I have not used my Charlotte Tilbury in a long time. I will use a liquid blush. This one is from Clarins. Maybe we need a highlighter. I have a this Victoria Beckham highlighter. Maybe we use this one. Volume Glamour Ultra Curl. Don't remember last time I used it. I have some eye pencil here from Jane Idol. Maybe we use that. I don't think I have actually ever used it. I have not used my little brow palette for a long time. I mostly use the gels. So maybe we will try to rediscover this one. Speaking of blush, I've just found this one. And I don't think this has ever, ever, ever been used, so maybe we try this one. And I'm just looking for some kind of palette for my eyes, even though maybe we use that one. I don't think this one has ever been used either. <laughs> nice! And we just need something for the lips. Mm, I mean, to be honest, most of these haven't been used in a long, long time. Maybe we use this MAC. Tribistic. What is this? Pillow plump. So the first thing we're gonna do is prime and I'm gonna use the Smooth Affair from Jane Idale. Let me shake it up because I have not used it in a long time. Um, this is more of like a brightening primer than pore filling primer. It's very thin, quite watery. For foundation, I have my Dior BB cream. Yeah, it does look a little bit light, but I guess we'll just have to bronze it up. This used to be like the only foundation I would use. Kind of just disappeared to the bottom of my drawer and 
when something is not in front of me, I forget I have it. I love this foundation. Why did I stop using it? Concealer, I'm gonna use the Bourjois Radiance Reveal Concealer. I think this concealer is darker than my foundation. Whoops. I remember that it doesn't crease. I mean, we'll see how it works today, but as far as I remember, it did pretty well then. Probably need just a little bit of powder, but the only powder I have here is the Bobbi Brown Sheer Finish Pressed Powder, but this is in Warm Natural. All right, let's see. It's definitely not like a brightening powder, but it will get rid of some oiliness and shine. Right, so next thing I have is the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow, and this is like a contour highlighting palette. Um, I'm just gonna use my beauty blender and go into the like the bronze shade. I do find this one easy to work with than the Tom Ford one. I do find Tom Ford so greasy and it can get really dirty really easily. I'm just gonna put a tiny bit on my forehead as well. Well, like I said for the blush, where's the blush? I found this one. This is the Dior blush. Cherry Glory, sorry. Cherry Glory 873. And this has never ever been used. Uh, this looks so bright. I'm a little bit scared. Oh, well, it is what it is. Let's just try it. It is quite cute, but I don't think it's my favorite shade. It's a little bit red. I have like sunlight reflecting from my mirror into my face. I need some hydration. Let's do my brows. I have the little kit from uh, Jenna the la 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 la. Great Shape Eyebrow Kit in Brunette. Uh, it comes with a gel and a powder. So I just put a little bit of pigment and just a little bit of gel. I have this Estee Lauder Michael Kors Very Hollywood Shimmering Loose Powder. This is so shimmery, you guys. Do I even want to put it on my face? It's very pink too. The worst idea I've had today. These cheeks are a little too rosy for me. So... Oh my god, this has like chunks of glitter in it. Oh no 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 no. Uh, I have the Victoria Beckham with Estee Lauder highlighter in Modern Mercury. This is a beautiful highlight. So I'm just gonna take a little fan brush. Uh, you can definitely see the glow. What else do we have? Of course we have eyes and for the eyes I picked a little eyeshadow palette. This one is from Dior. And this one is in Undress. I don't think this has ever been used either. Or maybe I've dipped into two of these colours. I'm just gonna take that middle beige shade. Put it all over the lid. Both of this, just to put it a little bit in the crease. I'm using exactly the same brush. And I'm gonna take a little bit of that to go on my lower lash line. And also I've picked up this pencil, it's like a double-sided pencil from Jane Idale. This has never ever ever been used. And this is Eye Highlighter Pencil. It's a little bit chunky. I'm not quite sure about this guys, um, it's a little bit chunky. Um, I didn't really enjoy applying it, it was quite rough. Let's apply some mascara. I'm going to be using the Bourjois Volume Glamour Ultra Curl. How many is this in? ages. I have so many mascaras that I have been loving at the moment. This has a really nice curved brush. Good mascara you guys, good mascara. Definitely enjoying the mascara and I think the only thing we have left is lips and I have two products here. One is a kittenish lip pencil. It's like a chubby stick from MAC. Oh, that's quite pink. Hmm. I think it's a no. I'm just gonna dig for something else. This is the YSL <clears throat> Something Rouge, even though it's not rouge at all. It's a nude lipstick that I used to love, but haven't used for god knows how long. So let's try this one. This is very Barbie pink. This is a no. Oh no, 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 you guys, what is going on? Let's try again. See what this one is. This is the Rouge Pour, Pour Couture in number 10. This is better, 
but mm, no, I don't like it either. Found a few more lipsticks. I have number seven one in blushing tulip. No. I mean, it's nice, but I don't think it's... Wow. You know what, guys? I might as well just apply gloss. Look at my little blotting tissue. Put a bit more foundation around my lips because I was just rubbing it off so much. I have this L'Oreal Paris Sexy Balm here, and I know that this just doesn't give too much colour, so maybe this is the way forward today. This just gives a really nice shine and just a little bit of colour. And I think that's exactly what I'm feeling today because I'm clearly not feeling anything else. And I think the last thing that is left is to set my makeup. I'm just looking into my little setting spray drawer uh, to see which one I haven't used for a while. I haven't really used my 8 hour miracle hydrating mist. And that is it you guys. I am ready. Quite happy with the look. Um, a few things that I'm definitely not going to be using again is the loose shimmering powder. Not sure about the blush, but then it's kind of growing on me. The lipsticks? I don't know. I think I have to reconsider my lipstick collection. I'm not going to be using the pencil again. Everything else I loved. I need to start using the BB cream more. That looks lovely on. And the bronzing situation is really cute too. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet. And I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.